Good morning, everybody. I'm right here with the infamous Osito. So what's up, Osito? How you been? Uh, we've been good, man. We've been good. Grinding. It's been a busy summer, so we're just grinding it out, fellas. You already know. So what you got for today's morning? You know, today's kind of light. We decided to take the rest of the day off, but we got a beautiful, beautiful Mustang GT that's about to get serviced. Where we did the interior, now we just got to seal it up. Nice, nice. And so, um, mind if I ask you, what location are you in right now? Uh, we're, we're in some parking location. This is uh, like a work office. So the beauty about having um, your water tank, you know, your, um, your power and your van and setup is that you get to work anywhere. So that's the great ability of having your mobile detailing setup ready to do jobs anywhere. Before we used to borrow power and water from our clients and since then we switched it up and it's been a game changer guys. So you're letting me know that you're able to gain more money instead of lose money. Correct, correct. So that's what we're about to do guys. We're about to clean out these wheels and make some money. So join us as we detail this beautiful Mustang GT. Uh, you know when uh let's get to work we'll knock it out and i'll keep you guys updated in this video we're basically going to be talking about the benefits of having your own power and your own water and your mobile detailing setup and how i lost many jobs without having that beautiful and so show the people what you have staging and what you're gonna um what you have ready for for this vehicle so we have everything ready you know we have our uh our pre-wash, we have our, our, you know, our soap that we're gonna do to do 100% wash. We have our clay towel if we need it. We have our, our, our pump sprayer for the wheels. We do have our, you know, we have everything set, set up. I love to have it set up. It makes it easy for you to get straight to work. You don't gotta be looking, going back and forth. It's all right here. It's all right here. And so, everybody knows you like to have your buckets on the farther side. Correct. Uh, kind of towards the front of the vehicle. If you can have them towards the front of the vehicle, depending on where you're working at, uh, either the front or the back. That way you always got a place where you go back and come through, kind of. And guys, he does have another video coming up mm -hmm. explaining to you how he has to set up Correct. with the water tank yes, and sir. how he likes to run it. Correct. So for right now, we're looking at this beautiful, beautiful GT. And I'm just going to show you guys a real quick clip of it. It's going to get shined and protected. Rims are going to get protected. It looks like a brand new car. When it's a brand new car like this, you don't like to follow up with the clay towel? It depends. It depends. I'm going to get a feel for the paint. Um, a lot of people like to do it right, but um, I'm going to get a feel for the paint, see if it's necessary. Like I mentioned in one of my videos back, uh, how to do a wash clay and seal. Iron remover is an essential step that you cannot skip. So we're going to do that. We're going to follow up with every little part, uh, every procedure, but we're going to see if it's just necessary to do a clay bar just because it's a beautiful immaculate paint and we don't really want to cause any marring or do anything to it. And also, if it's not necessary, let's keep it like this and let's just seal it up for them. So guys, it is a fresh new paint. I don't think it's needed for this. I'm just going to show you guys this, this beautiful uh, 5.0. Mustang looking fresh as you guys can see my brother's about to start doing the, the pluming it's, it's already done so we just go um yes on my last video I showed you guys how to do the pluming so there's no necessary for that so are we ready it's just to get a work guys with the tires as we as you guys can see we love to start off with the tires I mean, comment in the comment section, guys. What do you guys like to, what do you prefer doing? Do you like to start off with the tires or the paint first? Correct. We personally like to take the tires on first, just because we know we don't want to take some of that contamination into the paint surface. Nice.
So what's up, Posito? How is your business have improved ever since you got your generator oh, and yeah. the water tank? Tremendously, man. I'm just blessed, man. Ever since we added the the first, we started with the generator. You know, we're taking the time. We're adding things as we go, right? Uh, we ended up adding the generator. That was very beneficial for about four to six months. We were rocking with no water tank, and everywhere we went, we just hooked up. We were doing a lot of interior details, guys. But now that we have the water tank, whenever we book, get booked in for a uh, interior detail we always try to upsell or wash or now whenever they book on my website you know I don't have to reach back out and be like hey I'm sorry I can't I can't service you because it looks like you're in some apartments guys I lost a lot of money in these last few months years without getting the, before I got the water tank and the generator so since we got it man we can't turn down money it's just it's amazing and not long ago man I was talking to one of my one of my friends on the phone he's like man or sito sometimes I get you know frustrated because I don't got my, my detailing van I don't got this and that he wants to go get a loan for it I told him man take your time you know that's what I've been doing slowly but surely me and my brother been adding things into our detailing arsenal so over time you even get better your skills improve and everything so so guys just a quick reminder man when he first started yes, he sir. had no power he had no water tank I'll put a picture right here guys what we started with that was less than five hundred dollars uh, detailing out of our uh, my own family SUV slowly but surely started grinding and just taking our time but yeah so guys. for any other beginner that wants to start up his business mm -hmm. it doesn't have the extra funds yeah what would you recommend them or encouragement to some do? of the main things that you really do gotta start off is the easy uh, essential cheap things get a water hose get yourself a vacuum you know and then get a products once you go do a few jobs and invest some of that money into getting better equipment once you can get a pressure washer once you can if you whenever you get the money add a, port, uh, a generator i would say once you get all the essentials that you need kind of to do an interior detail possibly and you know just the light wipe down vacuum and then you know a wash on the outside the next thing that you should probably consider is a port a pour generator and guys drop down the below in the comment section if you guys would love to see yes, sir. a video of my brother explaining life-saving equipment he bought that Correct. helped his business improve there's some equipment in our detailing arsenal that just it's like a Honda it's not gonna break down on you man it's gonna keep on going so we'll make sure to pump out that video with that being said I'm gonna form up this vehicle and <laughs> So now we're gonna let the soap the well do its thing. We're gonna rinse off, take care of the bugs, lay down some iron remover, and then um, do a hundred, another a hundred percent head wash. Finish it off by uh, using our towels, drying, blower, all of that. Then we're gonna seal it up, guys. And you normally let this sit for about. I'll give it about 20 seconds. You know, if we're out of direct sunlight, you can stretch it about 30 seconds or so. So right now, once I rinse this off, immediately I'm gonna just lay down a little bit of dark furry on the bugs, let it do its thing as well too, and then um, rinse it off. And by then we should have a pretty clean surface other than taking care of the iron remover. Our iron remover is gonna get rid of all the iron particles, everything that's not visible to the eye, guys. Also, let me know what kind of cars do you like to detail. Man, I love detailing beautiful vehicles like this. Great for content, great for everything. So, I love these vehicles. But you know what? Teslas are my number one clients. <laughs> now I'm going to start rinsing this off. So, Cito, how many cars you be getting out of 50 gallons? Oh, you know, um, it kind of varies depending on the vehicle, but with the 50 gallon water tank, with good water management, guys, we've been able to get uh, between three and four cars. At first, we were using it, um, we were not watching the water, right? We were a little bit more, um, uh, I want to say, um, 
I don't consuming more yeah, water. Yeah, we're exactly. Thank you, bro. I got lost on my thought. But yes, we were consuming more water, and over time we started adjusting a little bit more. So with the 50 water, uh, 50 gallon water tank, guys, we easily get three, four vehicles, give or take. And sometimes I just go on and refill at my client's house. I let them know, hey, let me take five dollars off, let me get some of your water. I still got for a few more vehicles to do. So yeah guys, I do remember when we first got the gallon, we were barely learning. Uh -huh. And as we were learning, you know, we were consuming a lot of water, but like the other day we, we came across four cars and we noticed that we were able to manage with the four correct, or six. Correct. You know, and I I don't know if you recall we when we did those three uh seven vehicles, we were able to finish four vehicles and then by the by by the time we were done with the fourth vehicle, we did have to get a refill and we were able to finish off exactly, the other three. Exactly, depending to what kind of services are they getting? If they're getting like a full detail, of course we are gonna eat, need more water just for the fact that we are hitting it with that extra foam, iron remover. As you as you guys can see, he is using a little bit of iron remover. Which is gonna we're gonna work one side, let it the wheel for a little bit, then I'll go on and do the rest of the other vehicle. Uh, I just like to be careful, you know. I just I'm gonna do half of it, then I'll do the other half right now. It's better to be safe than sorry. Correct. But yes, guys, like I mentioned, a water tank could be very beneficial, guys. Like I said, every time we had vehicles in apartment complexes or even a location like this, it was definitely a no-go. I got him, um, I got him pissed clients because of this, because they bugged, and then takes me a few days to realize they're in an apartment, so then we have to cancel. So it was an inconvenience, guys. But remember, don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it, guys. Start with what you have. You don't need a water tank, you don't need nothing. Just use what you have and slowly but surely. Go on and do your business how you want yours, you know. Or Especially just, for us, we are serving in the Bay Area, so there's a lot of apartments out here, guys, and uh, it's really beneficial. If you do want to improve your business, it's a guarantee. Having your generator, having your water tank, it helps in the long run, and it keeps and it keeps your pockets swollen with money. But like I said, guys. I even been told in the in the Facebook um, groups and everything, oh, you're not a real detailer because you're using your client's water. You know, why are you even sit, uh, start doing a business if you don't got your power? Like, dude, they're, my clients are okay with it. They're okay with me using their water. The reason I don't use their water no more or their power is because my time is a little bit more important now. So I want to save some time or else I would still use it. Comment down below what size of water tank do you have or do you even have a water tank and also let us know what kind of vehicle you have that water tank in. It could definitely help those down below. So also, have you ever had a client that has questions why you don't carry a water tank? No, I haven't, but I have had a client tell me if I'm going to use his water, he prefers me to do with, uh, go with a rinseless wash. And so um, I'll even put a video down below. I, I went to go do those video, uh, that vehicle with my wife and we had to do an interior, I mean, an exterior detail. And the whole job was done by a, a, a rinseless, which is use his water hose just a tiny bit to get rid of all the debris. So he was basically careful with the amount of water being used. That yeah. Day understandable if that's what they want I that's mean, what you gotta do right that's what you gotta do sometimes
Okay, so Junior the detailer, how have you noticed the business improve um, in our detailing journey since we added the water tank and the um, generator? Honestly, guy, I would like to say that it has been really fun, dude. Just for the reason that we get to serve these clients, have some more money like in our that. pockets, mm -hmm. and you know, it's just a fun experience in pulling up to the clients' houses, and sometimes they're amazed because you're like, okay, well, you got everything in that little van, and as you guys can see, we got everything in that little van. So <laughs> that little tiny this little van. van be pushing out here, and getting some money in our pockets, and we leave the customers happy, house, and they're satisfied. And that's what matters to us, cause it gives us a little bit more time to add extra love into the client's vehicles. Man, that's beautiful, beautiful. So what are you doing right now, Junior the Detailer? So right now we're about to start putting stuff away as my brother starts air blowing the vehicle once he starts air blowing the vehicle get the wheels nice and ready for me to mm -hmm. protect those bad boys and so whenever you up we take care of a vehicle like this you always like to you know take care of um the wheels by also adding some protection correct correct leave that um we do have this little ti uh, tire shiner mm -hmm. it, it has like a little protection up in there it's a Extra pretty good shine, one huh? you know yeah. so when we're able to come back to these vehicles if we do manage to come back uh and it's, it's less work for us Correct. that's us breaking our back and all the right. clients keep the uh, keep the car more and fresh all right junior the detailer so last question for you what yes, kind of sir. towel do you have in your hand right now i got this max shine uh now, the royal purple yeah uh, royal, royal purple, purple huh? I guess. yeah it's a it's a it's a nice towel man i recommend anybody to, that's in a, a search for a towel to hop on this bad boy has helped me so much and then what i like about it is that once i put it to dry mm -hmm. literally it dries like in uh five minutes less than five minutes so if we do gotta move on to the next vehicle i got a fresh dry towel oh okay so we're gonna recommend you that towel right there guys with that being said we're gonna dry off the vehicle add our wax sealant and then wrap it up guys we'll catch you guys here in a little bit get that sticker right there from the oldest to the newest oh wait, that's a pipe that probably comes originally like that huh? i'm pretty sure